So we are back with another unboxing. This time we are checking out Panasonic's microwave. Uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of their inverter technology. The way it's designed to kind of push those microwaves around to get proper heat to the center of the items is always great. But this model, the NNSV79MS, is a very specific model because this one has Alexa built inside. Uh, so first things first, we're going to open this box up. We are going to pull the item out so you can kind of see what it looks like. And then we're going to see if we can try to work around with the Alexa a little bit. And then that way you can decide whether you want to buy it or not. So let's do that right away. So it is a big box, uh, a really big box. So we're gonna skip the, the top view. Um, So inside the box, the very top, is the glass tray and the roller. And the actual microwave itself is inside this bag. This is the unit. The push button opens that up. There's a little thumb here. And apparently some tape inside. And then inside here we have additional pieces. So attached to the back, we have a pretty nice sized power cord tied up. And that's a pretty respectable distance. I mean, for the most part, you're gonna wanna put this thing probably around where the power plug is. But the length of this is actually a pretty good length to put it wherever it works best for you in your kitchen. Show you the inside here. It's got a nice little dark tint to it. But let's put the items inside there. Now, as this part actually removes, you put that in the center. It just slides right in place. Put the roller down, and then the plate. As you can see, that's all sitting there now inside the microwave, fully able to be moved around by the microwave when it's in action. We have our little roller bar, our smart select, some simple buttons. We don't have any uh, numerical keys on here like you with the traditional microwave, you know, like your one through zero. Um, you have a timer clock button, a start, stop, reset button, quick 30, turbo defrost, microwave, and popcorn. Um, and here it just literally says uh, sensor reheat, start, select, and it looks like we can rotate this to add time, adjust the weight, or let's say time twice. So it says time, add time, weight, 
and auto sensor clip. So inside here we also have a manual, important notices, instruction, move the tape on both sides because there was tape on both sides of that. We did remove that. And then even a little coupon here for Blue Apron, which is nice. So there's a couple really cool things about the microwave. If you purchased this from Amazon, uh, and specifically you already have an Amazon account set up with your Wi-Fi kind of programmed into it, like credential registered Wi-Fi is on your Amazon account, um, you'll be able to use this thing out the gate, which is a little scary, but I guess, you know, it's all pre-programmed, pre-smart into it, which is nice. Um, if you don't have a credentialed Amazon account with your Wi-Fi built into it, it's really easy to set this up. You just download the Alexa app on your phone, and then uh, you'll open it up, you'll plug this into power, and it will start entering into the like setup mode. If it's in close proximity, you might actually get an alert on the app telling you uh, that you can just start the process on setting it up. If not, if it's not there, you just select add device and uh, you can actually scan this little barcode right here and this will allow you to quickly set up the microwave on your phone. Once you've got that kind of set up, the blinking on the Wi-Fi indicator on here will go solid and then it is set to go. If at any time you decide you no longer want Alexa to be active on the microwave, it's pretty easy. There is a turbo defrost and quick 30 on here. If you hold both buttons for three seconds, it will deactivate the Alexa settings on here, allowing it to basically just be a regular microwave, which for people that might be a little worried about that, or if maybe the kids start playing around with it and messing around with it, or your friends are jerks and they keep going, Alexa, do this. Uh, <laughs> you, you might want to deactivate it temporarily for those kind of situations, and you can always turn it right back on by doing the exact same thing. So what exactly can you do with Alexa? Well, you can basically tell Alexa to cook things for a certain period of time by just saying, Alexa, cook in the microwave for this amount of time. Uh, you can say, Alexa, stop the microwave. Alexa, start the microwave. Alexa, pause the microwave. Um, you can say, Alexa, defrost for 10 minutes. Um, I remember people telling me like, why would I want Alexa on a microwave? And the funny thing about this is, is that I think a lot of people that kind of think that they probably don't do a lot of cooking in the kitchen using microwaves or generally they maybe don't have a lot of tasks that they do. And the reason I say this is, is that if you are making dinner and you need to defrost the chicken for the dish, but you also to chop up the herbs and the vegetables that are going to go into it, your hands might be pretty busy. So having basically like, you know, adjust the dial or find the right settings or hit defrost, hit seven different buttons is taking time away. So you can just say something like, uh, you know, Alexa defrost for 10 minutes and then go right to chopping the vegetables as it's doing it. And then you pop it open, you see maybe it's not done, we need extra time. You can just say, Alexa, do this. And then you, could, you go back to what you're doing till it's done with what it needs to do. You put the items in, you close it, and you just say it. Because that was one of the most annoying things about like microwaves is that like if, if you, especially with the dial ones that don't have the buttons, you, the getting the exact time sometimes you have to like dial to get to it, and then you have to adjust back and forth. Just being able to say, Alexa, turn the microwave on for two minutes is a lot easier than having to go through all these different buttons. And then you can go to what you need to do. So that's really helpful. Um, you can also say things like add cooking time, soften, melt, make popcorn, if you just have a bag of popcorn in there. So there's a lot of really cool features about this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing, I'm gonna plug it in real quick, I'm gonna set it up, and then I'm gonna show you me giving a couple commands. So I set up the microwave in my phone. And so now I am going to place the water inside the microwave, and I'm just gonna say, I've got my Alexa actually set up on my phone as opposed to the actual device. Alexa, microwave for 15 seconds. Alexa, pause microwave. 
Alexa, restart microwave. Alexa, stop microwave. Okay. So it's it's very convenient the ability to use your voice to control the electronic, um, especially if you have your hands full. Um, so one thing that comes to mind specifically is sometimes you can over mic or something and you can, a lot of times, at least in my household, we cook by smell. You can tell when something's done by smell. When the bread starts to smell baked as opposed to, or the cookies start to smell done, that's when you know to stop. Um, even if the time is still going, you stop then. So, it's true also with microwaves. If you're microwaves thing and you're like, oh, that doesn't smell right, sometimes having your hands available isn't really something you can do. So just being able to just yell out, Alexa, stop the microwave, is a uh, nice ability to have, especially in your kitchen. Um, so it means it's a great object to have along with your other Alexa devices, or if you want, you can just use it like a regular microwave. Um, it is sleek. It is nice. It's pretty cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this microwave, you can pick it up on Amazon. We'll put a link down below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.